channel or welcome if you're new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell to get notified every single time I post. So I just got back from a lovely little coffee date with a friend here in town and she was saying how much she loved my recent videos talking about my disability friendly gadgets and learning all about them and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying them just as much and she got me inspired to continue on with this series and talk about some new gadgets. So after meeting with my friend I just got super inspired to do another video plus I was already glammed up so I thought it'd be a perfect time to make this video. So today I'm going to be reviewing and testing this multi-purpose slicer and chopper that I thought would be perfect for somebody with a disability or limitation in one arm or a limited grip or flexibility in their hands or arms because it comes with several different attachments here to be able to chop and slice veggies, fruits, other items. So I'm going to be demonstrating that um, in the second camera in just a minute. Um, I'm going to be chopping an onion, grating some garlic, and chopping up some carrots and celery. Um, I don't know what my mom's going to do with them, but I'm going to just demonstrate chopping and slicing these items so I can finally use this gadget and to see if it saves time and is safer than using a knife and if it really would be good for somebody with one arm or limited grip or limited range of motion in even in your dominant arm. It comes with eight blades and slicers. It comes with different variations for different sizes so there are several different widths for slicing, several different um, size graters, and several different size choppers as well to chop things up super finely or a lot thicker to see how easy or difficult it is to use for somebody with one dominant arm with limited range of motion, limited flexibility, or grip. I will uh, now demonstrate as much as I can of this device um, on my phone camera and then I will come back here at the very end and tell you my thoughts. Now it's a little bit tricky to get out, you need a little bit of strength so that could be a problem for some people if you just don't have the strength in your biceps you know or your forearms to get it in and out of the vegetable um, or you just don't pierce it in as much as I did so this is it pretty compact pretty easy to lift up and down with one hand So it locks in back here. Whatever you chop and slice will be caught in the container at the bottom. Very convenient. So I'm gonna lift up the lid here. This can be put in with your dominant hand. All right, we are going to choose a size of chopper to put in the slot here. And then we will chop our onion. So we have this size. I'm going to go for the tinier one because my mom's going to be making a bolognese and she'll probably want it quite small. And it'll just take a while. <laughs> but it, you'll get there eventually. And that got them a lot more even and consistent slices than I ever could. It might take me a little while 
and a little bit of strength, but it's also a lot safer because I'm not trying to grip a knife This is the last little bit of the whole onion. I will demonstrate. You do have to whack it though, but it did take a little bit longer than your average person cutting an onion normally, but I think this is a lot safer because you're not touching any knives, any sharp objects, any blades. Now I'm gonna keep the same blade on here because this is the size that I want the celery and the carrots and they are pre chopped into sticks because they were for dipping into hummus last night but now we're going to use them for our bolognese so I'm going to do one stick of celery and see if I need to chop it in half or not or if it will dice because it's a little bit softer than an onion. So I still have to whack it. All right, now I know. But you do have to have the strength to be able to whack it like that. And you won't hurt yourself. I'm not pinching anything here. There's enough separation here to be able to grip it. Look, I can show you the other way as well is you can grip it on this side if you have the grip here open it like that put something in here close it like that and if you're stronger going this way rather than over here then that's an option too and i'm not going to pinch myself over here because there's enough separation even if i whack it down i won't pinch my some here, I can still grip it and it'll be fine. Well, the carrots are already cut quite small. So let's see how difficult or easy it is to chop a carrot. Yeah, with this one, just like all the other veggies so far, soft or hard, you're gonna have to probably whack it. You can't just slowly squish, you have to whack it down. Yeah, so maybe a little bit harder than celery, but if you got the strength to do celery, the carrot isn't too much harder. Yeah. It isn't exponentially more difficult than an, than an onion or a, than celery. I'm actually going to turn it around because I find it easier to, to whack it when it's over here rather than over here. Plus, I don't find it moving around too much because I've got a tea towel underneath the cutting board. I've got a cutting board and it also has these silicone mats underneath to stop it from jiggling too much. I feel like I'm getting faster and faster as I get the hang of it. So that's good to know that, you know, there's just that learning curve in the beginning and then it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it to go a lot faster and faster. Look at that. They're pretty even and way tinier and consistent than I could ever do with a big knife or a little knife. I would be too afraid of cutting myself if I were to try and make anything this small. So no matter what attachment or size chopper you use, it's gonna be the same motion of putting it, something in here and then whacking the, the lid down and that's how it's gonna chop. So that's the same. So now I'm gonna use one of these attachments to show how to slice something. I'm gonna use it not as a slicer to thinly slice something, but to grate the garlic. So 
I just grated the garlic and it looks like it all kind of collected right here at the bottom. It didn't fall in like I hoped. Okay, so what I've done is put this attachment back on, the fine dicer back on, and I'm gonna see what happens and what it looks like uh, when I chop the garlic instead of grating it, because that's how I thought I would get the best results. Um, but let's see if it cuts it or chops it small enough or fine enough that um, it would be just as good. So let's see what happens. And it cut it pretty small, I would say. I'll ask my mom if she thinks that's small enough, you know, if it's just as good as grating. But I would say that's pretty small. Alright, overall I think this is a fabulous device for anyone actually who wants a hassle-free chopping experience or slicing experience because everything is caught in this container at the end. I think it keeps everything contained and compact. It's a pretty small device. I think the fact that everything lands in here and doesn't go flying is amazing. There are so many different sizes in terms of chopping and slicing. I think the safety aspect of it for somebody with a disability or physical limitation is great. I think it would have taken me that long, if not longer, to slice everything or dice everything that finely. And I don't think I would have gotten anywhere near as even or as consistent of a chop as I did with this device um, or even this much like this would have taken me a long time so although I keep saying it took me a while to cut everything or use this it actually didn't it actually took me less time than I think it would have taken me to chop everything by hand with uh, a regular knife and I think what outweighs everything is the safety aspect that I keep mentioning is that I think it's way safer because you're not touching any blades. It can all pretty much be done with one hand, which I think is perfect. And the whole point of my channel and these devices that I'm showing you is that they can pretty much be done with one hand or a uh, limited grip with the other hand or your weaker hand or your non-dominant hand. I also don't have great grip in my dominant hand either. so. Using a knife is difficult and a little bit unsafe, so um, having to just uh, pound everything through these blades that you don't touch and are nowhere near, I think it's way safer and such an awesome device for um, anybody with similar limitations to mine. And I think even if you don't have any limitations whatsoever or any disabilities, this would just be a really cool device to have in like somebody's first apartment who is unfamiliar with uh, chopping or dicing um, veggies or fruits or anything. It is super compact. It actually is quick and easy. And it keeps everything contained and together. The actual device is pretty small and compact as well, which I love. I hope I demonstrated this well enough for you guys with a variety of different veggies. I think this is going to allow me to make so many more dishes than I ever thought I could before in a fraction of the time and a lot and a lot safer so when I move out on my own I can feel confident that I'm not going to cut myself um, trying to finagle um, a heavy knife um, I can make all the dishes that my mom is making for me here so I hope you enjoyed this review and this first impression and this demonstration if you like these types of videos please like and comment it shows that you are engaged in these types of videos and that you want more don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and ring the bell for notifications every single time i post a review like this and i think the most important thing out of all that is share share this video and all my other videos with people that you think would find this type of review or device beneficial to them so even if you don't have a disability or a limitation uh, please share it on your social media and it really gets it out there for other people to find 
Thank you for your continued support and for watching, and I will see you in my next video really soon. Love you all. Bye.